occasion may Allah reward you immensely. I would like to invite to the high table our guest of honor for this occasion. Our guest of honor is Hajia Amina Namadi Sambo, our usual Latifa to Umma, but she is unavoidably absent this morning. As you can see, there's the screen up there. This event is a hybrid event. We are having it virtually and physically. Our beloved sister, Hajia Namadi Sambo, is online joining us from wherever she is. And we pray Allah rewards her immensely too. But representing her physically at this occasion, is her look alike. I would like to invite to the high table our beloved sister again, Sister Hassana Lukat, to please kindly come on the high table and take the position here to represent our Latifatul Ummah at Tagbil. I'd like also to invite to the high table the Form 1 National Amira, Hajia Rafiat Idousani. Please, you're welcome to the high table, ma'am. Also coming on the high table is a representative of the Honorable Minister of Education. She is in person of Hajia Sadiqat Shomope. Hajia Shomope is the direct, is deputy director of Social Mobilization, Universal Basic Education Commission at Tadpil. Having a 
established this protocol, distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, may I call on our Form 1 National Amira to please give us the welcome remark. I'll hand over the mic to you if you don't mind or you want to come to the podium. Attack Bill. We could remember when Adam and his wife were sent out of the paradise. They tarried on the surface of the land for years. Many of our scholars said they were on the surface of our suffering from moving from one place to another without seeing each other for 40 years, according to some scholars. But Allah said in the Holy Quran, when he saw their sufferings, Allah said he inspired them. He inspired Adam that when you sin, you ask for forgiveness. And Allah taught them the prayer to be said, which was Rabbana Zolamna and Fusana. Wa illam tagfrila na wa tarhamna la na kunna na mina la khasirin. They were taught, Adam was taught this prayer, and they said it. And immediately Allah forgave them. And where I'm going is this. That very day, they were forgiven by Allah's one and what Allah. Allah said, I have forgiven both of you. But if, as it is sure, that guidance comes to you from me, Allah was telling the two of them, our forefathers and our forefather and our foremother. That if, as it is sure, that guidance comes to you from me, whoever shall follow the guidance of Allah shall never grieve and they will never be in pain. And whoever goes against the injunctions of Allah will suffer. That very day, the foundation of guidance was laid. And in all the regulations of Allah, in all the injunctions of Allah, the use of hijab is one of them. And in the chapter where we found it that we have to wear the hijab, the first verse of that chapter, Quran chapter 24, verse 1, in it, Allah said, all that is in this chapter are obligatory on all Muslims. So if Allah has made it obligatory, and Allah said in another verse of the Quran that it does not befit a Muslim when Allah and his prophet have decided on a thing for them to say anything in contrary. On this note, our dear brothers and sisters, our fathers, our mothers, I welcome every one of us to this August garden. And I pray that the last one on what Allah rewards every one of us abundantly for obeying him and for going by the injunctions of the Quran and by following the lifestyle of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I beg all of us to listen attentively when the lecture is being pre uh, presented so that we can take additional knowledge home. And remember, you don't just listen. You bring out your paper and your pen. Because the prophet told us 
that knowledge is the last treasure of a Muslim. He should pick it wherever he finds it. And how do we know a good Muslim? The scholars have said it all. They said, if we should check a Muslim's bag or purse, and you do not find a paper and a pen, then something is wrong. Subhanahu rabbika, rabbi lizati amma yasifun, wa salamu ala al-musali, wa alhamdulillah Takbir. That was quite motivational, isn't it? In a nutshell, what Sister Rafia said was she has reiterated the ayah of the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling on us to enter into Islam wholeheartedly. You do not believe in a part of the religion and disbelieve in the other. May Allah reward you immensely, Sister Rafia. The next item on agenda, I believe you have a program with you. The next item on agenda here is a poem presentation. If our children from Esteem Learning Center are ready, the floor is yours. Can you smartly come over and do us uh, the presentation? <laughs> Due to the 
is dressed. She is seen as so pressed. Bless the teachers too and bless the parents as well.